Welcome, welcome. Mutalak ni Talks is to love your words back. Hello, I'm Shamsi Sapsap. And we are now on episode 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, and it is the makeover challenge. Pero walang enta kasi nga, <laughs> sila sila lang ang makeover. <laughs> Di ba mas masaya dati kasi nga uh, they would bring people in or... Mm-hmm. Ang, ang, ang favorite ko talaga yung ano, yung mga camera people, yung crew, when they made over the crew. Mm, Oo, sa season, season 9. Pero ito parang, oh, nags, no. parang nag-switch lang sila. Basta anything different uh, mm-hmm. or... Alam mo yun, may ibang tao <laughs> Kasi gawa ng na COVID, sa... I'm assuming, di ba? Correct. Kaya, kaya unfortunately, dahil sa gawa ng pandemic, kaya sila-sila lang yeah. ang nag-makeover sa isa't isa. Although, kasi usually may mga ano din naman eh, challenges na duos din in the past. Di ba? And usually kasi, yung mga past seasons sa may mga duos, ito yung mga, <coughs> usually may mga conflicting dramas. Mm-mm, yeah. the queens like sample na alala mo si sa season 4 si Sharon Needles tapos si Fifi O'Hara true, true, true. tapos sa season 6 si Ben De La Creme Darren Lake season 8 si Bob the drag queen tsaka si Derek Berry mm-hmm. eh sa season 13 kasi eh medyo tamed yung cast <laughs> at least yung mga naiwan yes, oh, they're all like I don't know wala rin may mga ganong conflict to actually parang to stir up more drama and for the episode correct kaya wala masyadong interesting storyline mm-hmm. and yun and normally kasi di ba yun sa mga nabanggit ko usually pagdating sa mga eliminations medyo controversial eh Mm-hmm. Diba? Yung nangyayaring end result. Although I guess in this case, parang kind of controversial din naman. Pero compared to, like sample, yung kay Valentina at kay Nina Bonina Brown, di ba sila yung magka-team <laughs> doon? Tapos... <laughs> Kakaloka yun. yun. Anyway, sad to say, walang ganong klaseng drama dito. Mm-hmm. Basta overall, this episode was pretty light-hearted naman. Wala naman masyadong issue. And... <laughs> In fairness sa uh, output nila, paano okay din naman eh. Wala naman talaga yung sobrang sama. I mean, or somebody who really did bad. Kaso, yun nga lang, it's very parang detrimental or parang too bad for kung sino yung nasyonggal. Ay, oo. Parang napaka-unfair din sa yung situation niya. Yun, yun, yun yung na-feel ko. Parang, ay, parang kawawa din siya in, in effect. Ano ba yun? Parang, hey, it's not her fault. Pero I mean, let's, sige, let's go to the runway True. na. Oh, sige, the... oh, oh. diretso na tayo doon. Oh, sa mga, uh-huh. ano ba yung theme nila? Drag doppelgangers. Doppelgangers. Freaky Friday. Charba, charba. So first I Correct. see Rosé and Tina Burner. Okay. What do so, you think? So basically, si Tina Burner, she did Rosé's makeup and vice versa. So parang nag-flip lang sila. Mm-mm. Right? So, unahin natin si Rosé uh, na inayos ni Tina Burner. In fairness, ang an- tsaka nga ng makeup, no? <laughs> <laughs> yung, parang, especially to think that they're been, I mean, some of the drag queens in, in general or Tina Burner has been doing it for years. Alam mo yun? Yung mm-hmm. parang, yung, sige, did they just stuck to their brand? Or alam mo yun, parang hindi ba nag-evolve for some refinement or experience? Alam, parang may ganun eh, di ba? Basta ang, ang napaka-dated ng dating niya. Kung baga dati, ang critic natin kay Rosé, may tendency siya maging dated. Ito talaga, dated talaga siya. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alam mo yun, uh, it, it's a disservice sa kanya. And ito pa, yung dress niya. I was about parang, to say, ang, marunong ka sumi sa dress din. Sige, ikaw muna. <laughs> well, number one, parang it's too long for her. Nagmukha siya maliit uh, in terms of Eh, siyempre, proportion na naman tayo, tayo. dito. Mm-hmm. Pero ngayon, hindi talaga in-adjust, no? Para sa katawan ni... Mm-hmm. Para sa katawan ni Rosé. <laughs> Ako naman, I really wanted to have more ways. Kasi yung parang higpitan pa, cinch it more. Kasi parang, mm-hmm. parang mas nag-broom din yung pagka-skirt niya. Alam mo yung parang ganung effect? Yung when you mm-hmm. actually tighten it more, kulang sa higpit for me. <laughs> parang doon ako nainit. Parang gusto ko na talaga higpitan pa siya ng konti para lang mag structured yung ano. Yung mm, mas okay. shape in a way. True. Lalo na yung ano, parang it kind of reminds me, 
kung yung kay Sherry pa, hindi ba parang may ganyan outfit din siya last season. Uh, uh, hindi ko ba alala, girl? Yung alala. <laughs> well, anyways, <laughs> ano hindi siya ganun ka po. Kasi yung isa ka, uh, yung kay Sherry pa yun nun, although disqualified siya. Pero, <laughs> to be fair, maayos naman yung, alam mo yun, yung maayos yung ganung silhouette sa kanit. Tsaka very polished yung dating head to toe. So, so Tina, next, switch. Si, yeah. So, Tina Burner na inayos sa, inayusan ni Rose. So, she actually looks good naman. Ako lang yung sa ano. Uh, could have had more prominent na cheekbones. Uh, basta sa contouring. Kasi para medyo lumubog yung mukha niya or hindi masyadong halata. Grabe na papasin ma- talaga yun, no? Ako, Pero mas maayos ba? siya. I mean, mas maayos yung ginawa ni Rose kesa kay Tina Burner. Tina Burner. Mm-hmm. Hindi hamak. Yeah. Ako naman, napi ko, ay, actually, walang ruffles, walang ano, lufa effect, <laughs> diba? Do, kasi it won't be good din sa look ni, ano, ni Tina, kasi masyado nga malaki si Tina, at saka yung mga ng katawan niya. Imagine that. Alam mo, yung parang lalo na lang siyang lalapad. So, Uh-oh. I guess, it's a good decision na rin. At least, at least, a signature uh, pink fuchsia wig is there. Oo. Yun. In fairness naman, maayos yung gawa ni Rose dito. Mm-hmm. The next couple is Ay, Olivia. Si Olivia Lux Denali. at saka si Denali. So, yung kay Olivia Lux, actually, mas issue ko dito yung dress niya eh. Parang ang, parang haphazard. Parang, parang ang tsaka ng pagkakagawa. Or, or parang kasi hindi na din masyadong nireshape ni- for her body. Alam mo yun? Kasi, di ba kung, napa- kung mapapansin mo, di ba nung nagnurumang pa sila, na- may kita mo yung picture nung ni Denali na sinuot yung origin I mean yung sinuot niya mm-hmm. yung sinuot niya yan right yes, uh, yun parang ang ano yun napaka rito parang napaka parang buhay yung mga fluffs <laughs> mm-hmm. diba eh dito parang parang mga sponge na pinagdikit-dikit titignan mo oh. Oh, mm-hmm. ako naman yeah. din parang I wish have, I, I wish na she should have actually used the, the roller blades then to complete the look the, 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 oh. the, the stilettos didn't work for me parang okay alam mo yun, kasi yun yung brand. Kasi pwede madapada pa si Olivia. Well, I mean, stage, I'm, assu- no? I'm assuming kahit. I mean, alam mo yun, pero kasi if you are selling your brand, correct, push mo na din, di ba? Kasi... Might as well. Mm-mm. Unless talaga hindi nga niya kaya, pero whatever. <laughs> okay. Next, si uh, Denali naman, na inayusan ni Olivia. Mm-mm. Uh, 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 wala, mm, wala talaga, sige. walang ano eh, walang karakter. Walang dating, walang karakter. no? <laughs> Wala kang branding. Tama sila yung wala kang branding. <laughs> Kasi nga, that could have been anybody. That could have been any True. way. That could have been any gown. From even nga, hello, that sobrang, parang p- pwede yung off the rack na gown niya. Hindi alam mo yun, yung ready to wear. <laughs> Total, we're talking about branding, signature, but di na lang siya nagdala ng miniature bag na, o nga, alam mo no, yun, yung binibenta ni Olivia. O nga, no. Ang sasman actually, lang, kahit pa paano may semblance, di ba? Oo, oh, actually, oh. yun lang hirap at yun yung advantage sa ng ibang queens na. Like, I'm thinking about previous seasons na right mm. from the get-go, you know their brand. Like, like Trixie Mattel or mm. Kim Chi na, alam mo yun, tagang sila yung, or, sila, or si Raja, di ba? Parang, alam mo mm. yung, or, or Manila Sons wig na yung may white lang, na parang that would be Uh-oh. a distinct Correct, may trademark may trademark sila. Eh, like for Olivia, I mean, she's new to drag then, di ba? Parang wala pang one year back, if I remember it right. So, uh, uh, to figure out there is, or like Tina Burner have her yellow, red, and orange color. At least, <laughs> I mean, not the to most, be fair, you know, at least. Not the most beautiful aesthetic, pero at least there's some branding. She knows her brand. Or even Candy Muse, yung pagka... Uh, but the goal or alam mo pag <laughs> pag uh, unpolish alam, alam mo yon at least kagaya for later we can talk about it na kasi nga yun nga may brand eh, eh si Olivia anybody can be prim and polish yun alam mo yun kasi yun ang stick uh, can be glamour can be pageant so, um, so it kinda didn't too bad for Denali na, alam mo yun wala masyadong hindi naging correct stink pero di ba kasi collaborative naman to di ba Well, yeah. Apart, part, partly, oo. Oh, yun nga. Pero kasi parang, yeah. I mean, to, na, naka... Oh, pero parang wala man ako naalala na nag-contest si Denali. Denali. Na, ito. Ay, ito na lang suotin ko kasi parang 
ininom ko Olivia Lux to. Alam mo yung ganun? Tingin mo, hindi rin niya naisip na, yun nga, ang sa kanya, she will do her best to make over Olivia. Not thinking of, ay shit, pag nag-ini nga ito, magaling sa kabila. Automatic kami nga ang bottom two. Alam mo yun, yun parang... Actually... Kaya dun siya na, ano, parang ikaproblema. Baka alam niya, individual ang judging, ganun? Pos- ay, we don't, posible, di ba? Kasi, or hope somebody else's team could mas worse sa kanila. <laughs> <laughs> Sayang lang talaga. Tama. It was really a disadvantage mm-hmm. sa kanya. So next is si Moving along, si Simone and si Utica. Utica. Okay, so Simone being dressed up by Utica. In fairness, she was able to embody yung weirdness ni Utica. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Pero she was able to make it as her own naman. Alam mo, yung fa- fashion pa din, di ba? Kahit mm-hmm. sabihin natin, weirdo-weirdo si ate. <laughs> Pero yung ano, yung emote-emote ni Utica, how, what do you think about that? Yung, yung appropriation. Kasi feeling ko um, naman, mm. I almost had a feeling na she is giving... I admire na she is sensitive about the issue mm-hmm. or being critical or alam mo yun, self-aware, kumbaga. Pero mm-hmm. sometimes, medyo OA na din. Kasi nga, ang challenge lang naman talaga is, hindi naman siya magba-blackface. Alam mo yun? Kaya nga, mm-hmm. I mean, kaya okay yung sinabi ni RuPaul na ano eh, if it's coming from a place of love and, and you're not mm-hmm. as taking advantage of that culture or whatever, ano, parang, what, why are you so apri- afraid of, di ba? Kasi, ano kasi parang, kasi di ba yung, yung, mm. yung kay Bob Ross last week, ganun din yung issue niya, di ba? Parang, eh, what can you do? Talaga may apro si Bob Ross. Alam mo yun, ito yung gagayain niya. Ano eh, I, I really think na ayaw lang talaga niya ng backlash. She's mm. just really careful, careful. about her mm. and afraid to be cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Posible naman. Kasi, uh, To be fair, no, uh, and I understand yung apprehension niya. Girl, ito na lang, no. Parang, di ba, yung season 3, remember, um, si Raja nag-tribal siya, Mm-mm. nag-Native American, Mm-mm. right? And that was like how many years ago? What, eight? Almost Seven na, years ago? Almost. Or even ten? Oh, yung, almost ten na nga siguro. Di ba? Oh, oh. Eh ngayon, she's actually... There are actually sites dedicated na ano uh, para nagkakaroon siya ng some sort of a backlash na ano that she was doing cultural appropriation. Eh during that time, kay papano, it wasn't really that big of an issue, no? And it's called high fashion, girl. <laughs> Correct. Di ba noon, she was actually being, alam mo yun, honored, elevated mm-hmm. for it. And if she does that now, I'm pretty sure a lot of, ano, <laughs> Yeah. SJWs <laughs> will talaga. be gunning for her. Oh, naman. But that's like, oh yeah, I mean, that's why sign of the times then talaga, no? Oh, no. Oh. It's changing. <laughs> Although it's questionable. Eh, ayun, syempre, kahit kay- tayo, careful tayo, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, I could understand uh, where, alam mo yun, yung hesitation, apprehension niya. But, I would like to say na, ano, uh, she really embarrassed Embrace the challenge, and Mm-mm. honestly, I think this is how she should be competing. Eh, um, mm. ki Utica kasi she needs to, alam yun, uh, when she does a challenge sa Drag Race, she needs to find that balance. You know, if she can, you know, just show some restraint or parang control dun sa eccentric, strange persona niya, alam yun, she can really bring it. Eh, and As long as she delivers what the challenge is asking, I'm pretty sure that she can last. Alam mo yun, she can last yeah, longer yeah, yeah. in this competition. Eh. Basta mm. nandun parati yung balance. Eh. Yung mm. it's not too or overly weird na <laughs> or it's ano, uncomfortable na for other, or for the niya, audience. Kasi para ang go-to niya, I will just do it my own way. Kung ano yung brand Correct. ko without even like Uh-oh. thinking about what the challenge is. Kung baga. Pero this one, talagang yun. Parang she embraced Simone. Pinag-isipan, di ba? Pinag-isipan ni ate. Di ba tama yung sabi ng judges? Parang she, st- she stood straight for this Uh-oh. runway. <laughs> Correct. Hindi siya nagkukuba, hindi siya nag-make face Uh-oh. na... <laughs> Ano yung parang kinakrunch niya yung parating mukha niya, di ba? Yung mm-hmm. parang simangot na ewan. So, buti na lang. And, yes. and last, and si last God Make at saka si Candy Muse. Hmm. So, Nakakaloka sa so Candy Muse. Nanala ko agad yung kuda niya sa ano, I shaved my ass for this. Nakakainis. <laughs> 
Anyways. Kasi so, ano naman, yun naman talaga yung peg ni Gottnick. Diba? Oh, diba? Diba? So, parang naman talaga siya. Love your body. Oh, skin kong skin. <laughs> Pero to be fair, no, ang, di ba yung, yung sinuot ni Gottnick, yung body suit ni Candy Muse? Oo, oh, oh. tapos diba, yun, 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 yun yung sinabi ko, compared to kay Olivia at saka na ano, ito talaga, may effort to make it like, to fit and accentuate got mixed body yung parang tuting na laki-laki lang talaga correct so bonggang adjustment to mm. pero ang eyes pa rin ng dating I, i would assume airbrush lang yung details nung des- yung design na to di ba mm-hmm. so buti kasi, kasi parang ano lang siya body suit lang talaga siya tapos fully painted Mapit lang sa katawan niya at mm. hindi na ano yan nawala sa shape or mm. so maayos ang pagkakagawa yes di ba Although I have to admit yung makeup, parang regular makeup lang eh. Hindi naman talaga siya... Di ba kaya nga pinatanggal uh, ni... Di ba siya kabog, di ba? Pinatanggal diba? ni Miss Alvisal siya yung shades kasi yung parang nagtatago. <laughs> kasi parang wala masyado, ano. Pero at least yung ano, mm. yung essence nga naman. Pero yung essence ni, ano, ni Candy, na, na, medyo naaliwa ko. Para, kasi to see it on a petty body, parang alam mo rin yung mga ano. Aliw naman. Pero ano ah, hindi naman ganun si Candy pag ano ah pag runway ah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> ganun siya pag challenge. Oh, oh, ganun siya kapag personality sa correct oh, personality sa niya crew. out correct outside the runway pero sa runway mm. mismo. Parang ano eh babaihan si Ate pag oh. nag-emo, 'di ba? <laughs> pero at least at, at least siguro nag nag-came across na talaga ang ano siya. Parang yun, correct yung, yung personality yung banji talaga oh, na man. or hood sa amin. No? Okay, and then Candy Mrs. Got Me. In Go. fairness, I like <laughs> na ano, uh, I like yung look. It's the edgiest <laughs> look ni Candy, Candy. Mm-hmm. ngayon. And I agree with her comment. I think out of all the pairings, sila It talaga yung challenge. biggest challenge mm-hmm. simply because of the size or yung pero, body type. Pero nakakaloko talaga yung personality niya. No? I mean, at, Ay, at oh. least may, <laughs> talaga may split up talaga siya. Kems ako, sabihin ko to, wala ako pa kailang sa <laughs> Kasi even para si Narupol na taken aback na siglet, uh. eh, alam parang, okay, chill. Parang ganyan. <laughs> Kasi yung delivery din niya, ano, parang may gladin din ka. Parang si Ate talaga, no? Hindi oh. talaga siya sanay na makakuha ng feedback. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> pag sa judges, pag si Rupol, okay lang. Pero kapag no, 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 niya, no, 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 Well, sen. pati si Rose eh, tsaka si Tina Burner. Pero it, it wasn't, Burner, ano, Burner. pero mas, ano, may, mas, mas may semblance pa rin naman kasi yung gawa nila. Alam mo yun? Ay, oo naman. Oo, in terms of, sa... kumbaga, identity. Uh, actually, Olivia Lux eh. More of Olivia Lux talaga eh. Kumbaga, parang, yun nga. Um, Kaya... Ano yun, by association lang talaga si Denali eh. Mm-mm. If it weren't judged by team, I think yung bottom two dito, si Olivia tsaka si Tina eh. Oo, posible naman. Yeah. Kaya nga, napaka, ano, parang, ay talaga, I mean, there's no point, I mean, it's part of the competition din naman na may show Ganun talaga. Oo, oh, oh. <laughs> ganun talaga. Ganun tayo magagawa. Ano, alam ka naman mag-save na naman sila. Actually, nag-post ka si, ano, si Bianca Donnelly sa tweet. I mean, the ano? other day. Parang sabi niya, how long is this fucking season? Kasi parang, ang tagal-tagal na lang, ang dami pa nila. <laughs> alam mo yun? Well, kasi nga may ibang episode na wala namang, na, na, well, may non-elimination. Na non-elimination. Kasi, diba? Even yung first two episodes, alam mo yun, yun parang bumalik mm. din lahat. So, ang, ang haba na ang dami pa rin nila. So, Actually, mm-mm. tapos, if mm. ever pa nga, eh, di ba nag-message ka nung nag-bottom mo sila na this, the, the, lip, the lip sync you felt, tama ba ako? You felt it should be a double Sunday? Well, a lot of people have been saying that. Mm-hmm. And actually, kung kukumpare mo naman, just ko, nung kay Simona at Candy, Candy News, News, I think mas deserve naman ito ng double shante. Eh. Oh. Pero Wait, by we... the way, si Simona at si Uti ka pala yung nanalo sa oh, episode yes. na to. <laughs> wala <laughs> naman kaming complaints doon. Oh, I complaints think well deserve naman talaga. Oh. Hands down sila yung nanalo. <laughs> Pero just imagine lang doon kung nag-double sh- it, na naman. <laughs> na naman, just <laughs> ko. So, dapat yung next, ano na, episode, double elimination naman. Actually, no. Wala rin, ano. Di, di ba, wala rin. Di ba, di ba, di ba before may ganun? Every time may mag-stay, di, di, double eliminate sila the following episode. Dami ganun chika, no. Parang, parang I remember before may ganun season, eh, na parang dahil nga may nag-double like, shante na si Nave si RuPaul, automatic yung next episode, I have to take, or maybe sa ibang reality show, reality show yun, maybe ANTM. Well, I remember, nung nag-double 
nung unang double elimination, yung kay pangalong dalawa yun, si Makani Mahogany at saka si Vivian Pinay. <laughs> naalala mo yun? Oo. Oh, oh, si, Ang alam ko, kayo, yung double elimination, yun yung naalala ko. May double yun. elimination, pero may save na ginawa after, yung kay Roxy Andrews sa Chai Ah, Edwards. okay. Maybe yun yung naalala ko. Something like that. Kasi nga, di ba, kasi parang every season naman may certain number of episodes. Eh. So, alam mo yun, para to fit that episode, kailangan mo ng ah, okay. na... Ito kasi, parang ano eh, maraming episodes ang order na to, di ba? Oh, Kaya oh, siguro, oh. stretch-stretch nila. Mm. But anyway, so yeah, what do you think of the lip sync? Oh, it's, it's Chacos, really good. It's really Brace good. You, Pero Mary kasi Mary. may ano eh, may, may certain level kasi na kapag the song itself, ay, oh, diba? Yeah, Pagkarinig mo na ano, parang Shackles, Praise You, ala, Mary Mary Gospel, ala, kay Olivia na to. <laughs> Yun nga, di ba? Parang may, may, may ganun factor sa akin na nung wala mo akong Praise You yung song, habi ko, siya si Olivia, si Denali, parang mas magiging grounded talaga yung emote ni Olivia for some reason. And, and and it showed naman na too bad oh. nga lang for Denali na talagang... Pero she was giving her all din naman eh. Yun uh, nga. Yung expression ng mukha ni Denali. Mm-hmm. Um, kaya nga mas nanginayang ako eh. Parang if there was only one double shante dub, I would have used or reserved it for this one lang. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Ako, um, ako yung kay Elliot at lalari pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi I really love that ano, lip sync. And then, o oh yun, actually inulit na tong song na to eh. Siyempre, ikaw, ikaw ba sa kakalala? Correct, ako, oh, diba? from episode 1, <laughs> actually. Although maayos naman yung... Not no? the season, not the season. I'm sorry, though. no, not episode 1. Uh, this was used sa season 1. Mm, okay, yun. Nang Drag Race. Naalala ko yung pato eh, yung kay, ano to eh, kay Chanel at saka kay ano, Rebecca Glasscock. Baka may ano, baka may lifetime user ro- royalty. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ako, actually I don't mind. Ako, ito, anong opinion mo? I don't actually mind recycling songs oh, naman. on regular seasons. Especially kung ano, like example. May, may, kasi may standard talaga ang pang lip sync na songs eh. Yun yan, parang mas gusto ko nga mag eh. Kasi, ewan ko. I mean, ako for example, when I watch Drag Queens then, yung parang, May mga standard na niyan eh para material repertoire. Repertoire. <laughs> na I would have, na I would have to see every time na I would watch them kasi parang it's like watching your favorite artist sa concert. Na even though hindi nila album yung for example, meron silang concert for an album, di ba? Mm. But you still want to hear their previous hits pa rin. Sa akin, it's part of the experience sa concert. I want you mm. to hear sing me your hits kumbaga, kahit previous hits pa yon. So Kung um, sa drag race, okay. I, I, I don't mind if they would yeah. repeat songs then. Ako sa akin naman, I really hope na they use songs that actually deserve better lip syncs or performances. Mm-mm. Like example, Mm-mm. yung, alam mo yun, yung I Will Survive. Yeah. Yung yeah. kay Gloria Gaynor, di ba? Yung dalawang queens doon na eliminate. <laughs> <laughs> or even yung, even yung ano, Oops, I Did It Again, kay Britney Spears. Diba? Yun yung na, yun 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 na-eliminate si na Vivian at saka si Honey Mahogan sa season 5 eh. So alam mo pag oh, I they can actually redo it. Para may redemption na din, performance. Correct. <laughs> yun, redemption. Redemption. Tama. Oh. And then, yun. So hmm. unfortunately, si Denali was eliminated after this episode. What do you think? I mean, I have to agree kasi kahit... Kahit I felt bad na she actually did good, I mean better sa challenge compared by Olivia. Pero ko yun niya eh. I mean that's the rule of, rules of the game eh. I mean you have to live for your life. And mm. unfortunately, Olivia kind of... Ins- you're, 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 you're right. Hindi naman ganun ka ano. Kalaki yung difference. Pero siguro by a hair na mas, mas ano siya ano. Mas <laughs> Photo finish siya. no. Mm, mas si Olivia din yung umanga. Pero okay. I, do you think There's Olivia a... will last? sa ano para kasing nanganganid ba rin si Olivia I feel like well if she can bounce back from this and I think yung pinaka questionable dito yung branding niya eh. mm, yun if niya, she can kaya, recover totoo. from that eh. kasi uh, right now she's not becoming memorable eh diba tsaka ang problema ko pa is parang lahat na naiiwang queens talagang yun nga may branding or talagang may mas may gusto to win Kasi si Olivia parang ng ano na lang eh. Parang coasting around na lang din siya. Alam mo yun? Mm, walang fire. Siya, oh, walang fire. Walang. Pero kasi hello, um, as a preview, it looks like Tina Burner's episode na talaga siya yung nagbabanta na. Kasi wala pang win si Tina Burner, di ba? Kung di ko rin kasamali. Wala pa. Um, 
Pero there's a talk about ano eh, Denali lately, di ba? Parang parang justice for Denali. She didn't mm-hmm. deserve to go or she deserves a higher placement or mm-hmm. should last longer. Do you agree? To that? I mean, well, in the past, remember, I didn't like Denali initially mm-hmm. in the first few episodes. But in the last, parang last three, di ba? We've always Nasa said... momentum siya, no? Oh, we, we've always said that parang parang sobrang underlooked siya or ang term parang underrated, underrated or overlooked ng, overlooked ng judges na parang kasi di ba even yung yung, yung remember yung yung number nila ni Rose na sobrang stand out at safe lang sila and she's been doing well then compared to other queens so yun nga lang talaga eh. napasama lang talaga ng ano correct yun na nga panghinayang I personally saw her as deserving actually to be mas, uh, si nakita ko siya as parang top 5 eh mas, mas definitely sa, higher ang placement compared kay Candy Muse or, at saka kay Tina Burner or even kay Rosé for me kung papapipiliin ako ng Rosé at Denali mas pipiliin ko si Denali actually ikaw hindi well uh, mas mataas si Rosé para sa akin hmm. pero definitely compared to the other winners dun sa, sa alam mo sa ayan na uh, naman tayo sa winner squad yeah. kinin ko mas deserve ni uh, Denali na magstay longer in the competition. Well, I guess ano yung, yung storyline niya, yung alam mo yon yung competent queen that and gets always eliminated. All, and there's always all stars if she right. wants to redeem Ayaw. herself. <laughs> Ganun naman lagi, di ba? <laughs> yung mga early. And, Pero, and, oh. and, 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 and it worked for some queens, some other queens, di ba? Na Ayaw all naman. star talaga sila bumongga. I really think na ano naman, in the grander scheme of things, uh, itong elimination niya to will actually make her more popular. Uh, wow. mm-hmm. I mean, she will get more mileage out of this compared to, like, let's say, the other queens na may iwan. Uh, that I'm sure of it. Tsaka ano eh, uh, parang si RuPaul, she never really saw Denali. It's parang, alam mo yun, stand Commander, out. Oh. Diba? I mean, yes, she's polished. She's consistent. Pero, I guess, meron pang... Alam mo yun, parang meron pang... Kahit ikaw, diba? I mean, mo, parang may kulang pa oh, yes. din, diba? We no. never really saw her as parang a real front runner. Totoo. Although, she deserved a higher placement than how she ended. Pero, I don't see her actually, alam mo winning yun, the competition. The fin- <laughs> correct, winning. Or even parang the top final four. or final oh. three or top four. Anyways, now off to episode 11 next week. Sana matapos na. <laughs> Kasi obvi- mas, sa totoo lang, mas na-excite pa ako sa UK. I know. Uh, okay. eh, sa UK, patapos na rin sila eh. Final 4 na rin sila. And mm. mas, mas okay yung drama dun eh. Mas okay yung bangayan nila. Mas organic din. Uh, and mas natural lang dating nung uh, mga conflicts nila. Nare-resolve din naman. Tsaka... Doon para wala silang pakialam sa ano eh. Kung ano yung uh, how they would come off sa camera. Mm-hmm. Doon talaga natural sila. Nag-aaway talaga sila. Nag, alam mo yun, nagbabangayan. <laughs> Pero nare-resolve din na that same episode. Parang a few uh, parang after a few minutes or uh, alam mo yun. Uh, nagkakasundo pa rin naman. Sisterhood pa rin naman sila. Sa US kasi parang masyado na silang conscious eh. Totoo. Parang... Honestly, it really, it's becoming more of a chore na panoorin dito. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Para lang naman na kung sino matatapos. <laughs> <laughs> sino man nanalo in the end. Tagal-tagal. Sige na nga. Well, thank you Ayan. for listening and watching our episode. Please continue to subscribe and like our channel. Even watch our other videos. Huwag lang RuPaul. Huwag naman. Huwag kayong magsiksikan sa RuPaul. <laughs> Drag racing. <laughs> And uh, just don't forget to hit the notification button just in case may bago kami upload na talakan. And uh, follow us on social media, Instagram and Twitter. And we're also available on Spotify. So this has been another edition of Talaki Talks. My name is Tilapia Wurzbach. And I am Shamsi Sapsap. Bye! Bye!